<laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all already know I'm, I'm mad. Y'all already know I'm freaking mad. Y'all already know. That's for sure. I'm sure you all, you were all watching this, freaking laughing and saying, "I can't wait to see what Tropical has to say," because he's probably going to be pissed. Problem is, I'm not gonna be screaming in, uh, in a Steve Dangle type of way like I did in uh, the Habs versus Golden Knights review last time because I got vaccinated for COVID last night and I'm fucking tired, man. I feel like I like I got run over by a freaking truck. <laughs> so I'm just going to talk peacefully about the game. I have some things to say, of course. I'm pissed off. But I'm too tired to, to be screaming around, all right? So, yeah, today... The Canadians were facing the Buffalo Sabres in Montreal at the Bell Center. People paid uh, $250, $400, $600 to go watch that game, to go watch the Canadians, to get just shit on completely by the Buffalo Sabres who were coming out of an eight-game losing streak. That's, uh, yeah, that's not cool. Definitely not great. Definitely not the best thing I've watched this year and in my book probably the worst game that the canadians played this year like le legitimately for me it was the worst game i've watched for the canadians so far this year i, I was feeling like back in in last season when them Ducham was still there I, I got the same feeling and i hope it's it was just temporary because i can't i can't do another year like that i really i really can't so they better be better tomorrow in Columbus, because yes, they're playing again tomorrow in Columbus. So yeah, what went wrong in my opinion? A lot of things, a lot of things. First things I need to say is that Suzuki Caulfield and Doc played another amazing game. I mean, in the first period, they were dominating completely the Buffalo Sabres. Kirby Doc had one of his best uh, shift on the Canadians so far, in my opinion. He was just dominant. He, he had one of his best period. Caulfield scored a goal, Suzuki was good, Doc was good, and it's just not normal when you finish the first period, give me a sec, my earphones are unplugged, when you finish the first period with almost double the shot, but you're behind 3-1, to one. I don't know, but personally, uh, being a young guy in the Canadian team, you come back in the, in the locker room, you have double the shots, you dominated the first period almost entirely after uh, the fights, after the Caulfield goal. They got a lot of chances. Like Doc, Suzuki, Caulfield, even even uh, Monaghan and uh, Dodonov were the best five forwards for me tonight for the Canadians. Uh, Sofkovsky wasn't bad either, but they had a lot of chances. And yeah, Craig Anderson saved them. He wasn't great, but at least he was making a first save. And the defensemen were, were there to... To get the puck out of the of the slot. But yeah, Jake Allen, man. Jake Allen. And y'all know every time I say, Alright, he played a bad game, but I'm not going to talk too much about it. Because he's been playing some good games. But like, it's been like six games in a row, man. Where he has been terrible. Since the game in Detroit. He has been terrible, man. Terrible. And last game against the Flyers. They scored two goals in the first three minutes. And tonight, they scored three goals in the first three minutes. Four shot, three goals. Last game, it was three shot, two goals. And when you're a goalie in, in, in the National Hockey League, and for me, all of those goals, those goals against the Flyers and those goals tonight at the beginning of the game against the Sabres were some goals that can't go in at the start of the game. You need to make those saves. Like for me, you need to make those saves. And particularly on all the goals of the Sabres tonight, you need to make those saves. Like some shots, they had no, nobody in front. Nobody in front, shot goes in, shot goes in, shot goes in. He looks slow in that. He, he looks unfocused. He doesn't look like he follows the play well. And for me, the reason why the Canadians haven't been doing as, as good as at the start of the season is because the goaltenders hasn't as haven't as been, have been as good like Montabo and Hallen had a good start of the year Canadian had a good start of the year 
And right now, they both are playing terrible. Well, Montalbo, it only was one game, so I'm going to give him a break. He's probably going to play tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But for Jake Allen, that's for sure not a good game. Not a good game. You need to make those saves. Like, for me, it's it's not like the shots were close. Uh, both teams had some good opportunities offensively. But Craig Anderson made the saves. Jake Allen didn't. And every time it's the same thing. The Canadians need to score five, four, six goals to win games. And uh, Jake Allen can't make the saves. And yeah, it's been like that his entire career. He has some good periods. He has some bad periods. And that's one of the reasons why the St. Louis Blues back, the, back when Jake Allen was their first goaltender weren't able to go deep in the playoffs because Jake Allen is inconsistent. He, he let some bad goals in. And that's why I was... Uh, I was perplexed about the Canadian signing him to a longer contract because I was just like, nah, I've never been a big fan of Jake Allen. He was like that in St. Louis. He, he's been like that so far with the Canadians. He's not a first goaltender. He's a, a good second goaltender. But his inconsistency is what is making him not a first goaltender. And that's probably why the St. Louis Blues decided to get rid of him. Okay. So, and yeah, look, when Jordan Bennington came in, the St. Louis Blues, right away, they went to the Stanley Cup Final, and they won, and for the last, the five years before that, it was Jake Allen, they were keeping on losing in the first round, in the first round, in the first round, because Jake Allen couldn't be consistent in a seven-game series in the playoffs, and that's one of his biggest weakness, he has some good face, some bad face, it's just like that, like, he's a bipolar goaltender. So, that's my opinion on Jake Allen. And he hasn't been good in the last couple of games. And he's the reason why the Canadians haven't been performing well. Because they're scoring goals. They're getting some chances. The forwards on Gary are getting points. And, yeah. Power play was terrible tonight. Do you know why? Because they tried to put Matheson at the blue line. And for me, Matheson tonight was one of the worst defensemen on the Montreal Canadiens. He had a first good game. A, a first good game. A good first game, actually. I guess the Flyers wasn't bad, but tonight, oh my god, a lot of pits, a lot of turnovers, a lot of bad decisions. He couldn't keep the puck inside the the, the territory and the power plays. And, and yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why the Canadians weren't able to score on the power play. I feel like Kirby Doc is a lot better playing at the blue line on the power play. Uh, he was there on the four on three and the, the, the power play was a lot better in um, that situation. So I would just put Kirby Doc back at the point on the power play on the first unit. You could put Slavkovsky on the wing uh, instead of Hoffman for a shooting threat. He's shown that he has a good one-timer shot on the power play. He scored one there. He got a lot of chances like that. So I'd put Slavkovsky instead of Hoffman on the right side. And I'd put Suzuki in the middle. Caulfield on the left. Uh, Monahan in front of the net, and you have Kirby Doc uh, at the point. That's what I would do personally for the power play. Take care. It was working kind of well with Doc at the point. So why would you need to change it? I know that Hoffman wasn't there, but like to, to flip everything around just because one guy is not there is not a good solution in my opinion. And yeah, I, I don't know. And on the defense, I, I don't know what was going on. Sometimes Harris was with Goulet. Sometimes Gouli was on the right, Gouli was on the left. Sometimes Harris was on the right, sometimes Harris was on the left. Sometimes Edmondson was with Saval, sometimes Edmondson was with Matheson. Sometimes playing on the left, sometimes playing on the right. I was confused as hell. And the defensemen looked confused as well. They were like, all right, on what side am I playing? They were never playing with the same guys. Probably because there were a lot of power play, a lot of PKs. But yeah, that was kind of confusing for me, so... I can't figure it. It was confusing for them as well. So those are the three things for me that have been bad this game. Jake Allen, the the power play, because if you're scoring on a power play, it's a closer game. And uh, the defensive changes, it was like one of the worst game uh, for the for some defensemen. Edmondson was terrible. Matheson was terrible. Goulet played less minutes and I think it's not good I know Matheson is back but Goulet was doing good so why cut his ice time I have no clue um I would have loved for Arbor Jackai Arbor Jackai was missing tonight like every time I'm just like all right Arbor Jackai might not be blah 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 
He proves me wrong every time. It was his first game not playing this year, and uh, it was noticeable that he wasn't there. There was something missing uh, in the Canadians. So, yeah, that's my opinion on tonight's game. Let me know yours in the comments below. It's been your boy Tropical Habs, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for brand new videos. Canadians are playing again tomorrow, so we're going to make preview reviews and probably another video as well uh, to complete the day. So, yeah. New studio is going to come next week, so be hyped about this. It's going to look sick. It's going to look a lot better. It's kind of messy. It's always been messy, but yeah, new camera as well. So everything's going to look better in in, um, in the next week video. So yeah, it's been your boy Tropical Habs. Have a nice rest of your day if you're watching this tomorrow, and have a good night if you're watching this tonight. Bye-bye.